Hello, fellow Earthbound fans. Thank you for your patience over the long extended holiday break. I am back and more ready than ever to create more content for you. It was hard for me to remember where I left off. Time and age, I'll do that to you. But when I saw those two repeating words that have given me nightmares since I was a child, I snapped right back. The golden idol that ideally would be as far from me as possible. This boss has so much lore to it that I've made an entire video dedicated specifically to it. Now I'm talking about this shiny son of a gun, the manipulative metal man, the statue that'll come at you. I can feel myself getting corrupted just saying its name, and I'm talking about the Manny Manny statue. Now before we get into the boss, let's first make our way through the motions of how to find him, or rather, how he finds us. Last time we defeated the department store Mook that kidnapped Paula, but we still didn't rescue her yet, so our hunt continues around the town. If you head to the southwest corner of Forside, you'll come to the cafe, head inside, talk around, and then leave. There you'll find a crowd of people that has formed, and in the middle of the crowd, there's a familiar face. It's our boy Everdread, and he's not in good shape. He has been presumably attacked by Monotoli's men and left to die outside on the ground. Now, Monotoli may be the villain of this town, but it turns out that his mind has been tainted by the evil Manny Manny statue that we saw back in Happy Happy Village. When you talk to Everdread, he explains what brought him to this place in time. He states that when we last saw him, he caught wind of the statue and stole it from the car painter. He then brought it to Forsyth to sell to the top bidder, but Monotoli stole it right from underneath his nose and left him for dead. I mentioned earlier that I made a whole video dedicated to the Manny Manny statue. I would suggest pausing this video and watching the other one first before finishing that one. I don't want to keep retreading ground too, but I don't want you to miss out on anything. The video is just about 14 minutes if you're interested. And don't forget to leave a comment stating that this video brought you there. Okay, are you back? Good. Now the Manny Manny statue is in the hands of the city's rich villain and our ally is in the gutter. Every judge staggers off after filling you in the backstory and also a way to slip between dimensions. He says to check behind the counter at Jackie's Cafe. When you do, you are transported to Moonside. Now it seems like a physical place that has buildings and roads and people that you interact with, but in fact it is just a psychic illusion created by the Manny Manny statue. But more on that in a minute. Jackie's Cafe and the entire city actually seems to be now outlined in this neon glow, and it appears to be like a uh, nighttime. Speak to the woman at the cafe and she'll tell you that it's opposite day, and yes means no, and no means yes. This is important to remember. Before we get into finding the Manny Manny statue, let's talk enemies. As one would assume, there are some cutthroat baddies the statue has manifested. You have the abstract art. They use weak bashing attacks, but can also use hypnosis alpha. Also, there's Dolly's Clock. This enemy has a unique ability to freeze targets in time, dealing moderate to high repeated damage to any of your party. Next, we have the Enraged Plug, which uses a standard bash attack and sprays gigantic blasts of water, which uses the same functions as PK Fire. Also, Robo Pump has a high offense and defense, and will spend the first few turns counting down to a bomb toss, which deals a moderate to high explosive damage. It can also replenish a fuel supply, which uh, works like a life up gamma. Robo Pump wastes turns, saying tick tock. When defeated, it occasionally drops a super bomb, so look out for those. Feel free to fight all or any enemies to level up, but don't obsess over it. Wandering about town, feel free to talk to the people, but especially be aware of the blonde haired, Hawaiian shirted men. They will teleport you to different places around the map. Some take you to fun presents, some take you in circles, and some take you to key plot destinations. The man in the first corner that's south of the cafe will take you to a man dressed like a sailor who is guarding the pathway to the Manny Manny statue. He says you aren't a man with a unibrow brow and a gold tooth, so you cannot pass. Note him and move on for now. While exploring the town, look for a teleporter guy on the steps of the hospital. He'll send you to a present with a knight pendant in it. It's very valuable and you'll need that soon. Eventually you will end up at a man with glasses and a black suit. He'll be the outlier that teleports you to the most necessary of spots. The room you end up in is a bit trippy. Not like the rest of the place it isn't trippy or anything. The floor has an odd pattern, and there is presumably one man in this room. After a dialogue, and once your eyes adjust to the room, you'll notice a shadow person looming about. Talk to him. Make sure to swap no for yes, of course. Once you talk to him, talk again to the man that's visible wearing white, and you'll be teleported out of the room. The shadow man has stuck with you and will follow indefinitely. Your goal now is to retrace your steps and find the sailor man that refused to let you to the Manny Manny statue before. Get there as quick as you can because the invisible man can get quite annoying very fast. You can either teleport your way down or follow the road outside the hotel south as far as you can go. When you find the man, speak to him and he and the invisible fellow will leave together to hang out and get a drink. I think it's adorable. Take the last few steps toward the Manny Manny and speak to the illusion of Monotoli and begin your battle. The Manny Manny statue, or evil Manny Manor, is a primitive golden statue of humanoid figure 
that brings out the evil in human beings, which is used as a focal point to spread Gygus's influence across the world. The statue enhances people's desires for fame and fortune, hence the name's similarity to the word money and the resemblance to an Oscar award. Alternatively, the Manny in its name may be taken from the word manipulate. The best strategy is to have Ness equip the Knight Pendant, we've recently picked that up, to avoid any PSI flash moves. Then have Ness use PSI Rockin and have Jeff use Bottle Rockets. Evil Manny Manny should go down in a few turns. However, if you do not have any Bottle Rockets, it will be an annoying battle. Keep using physical attacks until Ness or Jeff is paralyzed, then you should start using PSI Rockin. This is more effective as once you are paralyzed you cannot move anymore and you can only use special moves. Also, the evil Manny Manny has the ability to cancel all PSI moves during the battle, so that's tricky tricky. Take your time with this battle, it can get out of hand if you don't think a turn or two ahead. Keep your HP up so you don't get overwhelmed. Now I actually got oddly lucky this first run. At first I defeated him with two turns worth of big bottle rockets, but I felt it was too easy. So then I went back to his save state and ran the battle again. This time I used flash, Manny Manny got confused and ended up emitting a glorious light, which is a one hit death, so he killed himself. So that was random and it's pretty cool. After the battle, it is confirmed that Moonside is an illusion the whole time, and you are actually wandering around a storage in the back of Jackie's Cafe with a faraway look in your eyes. Before I let you go, I want to give you some trivia. The pencil eraser can be used on the Manny Manny statue outside of the battle to produce a unique text. It says, do you really think this looks like a pencil? You know, nothing happens, but you can st it still reacts to you, you know. Manny, or Mani, I'm not sure how it is, is a Norse god of the moon, which may be where the Moonside comes from. And it should be noted that Pokemon shows up wherever the Manny Manny statue goes. Onet, Happy Happy Village, Foreside, and if you count Ness's Nightmare, Magicamp, hinting at his connection through the game. In Mother 2, which is the Japanese uh, port of Earthbound, the evil Manny Manny's name was more along the lines of Manny Manny Devil or Manny Manny Demon. However, Nintendo of America's division changed it to Evil Manny Manny in order to avoid any religious references. That's somewhat ironic, given its appearance as a gold, bullheaded idol, which is uh, not particularly subtle, Biblical reference, anyway. And there you have it. One of the best bosses in the game, not necessarily the most difficult, but one that is definitely has some incredible backstory to it. And I hope you enjoyed the experience. What are your thoughts on Moonside? Have you any theories of why the Manny Smanny statue would create a unibrow gold tooth man as a way of escaping? Is that some kind of bug in the system? Who knows? I think Moonside as a whole could use a lot of dissecting, but that's a video for a different time. For now, I will leave you to ponder. Next week, we will dip and dodge around the clumsy robot. See you then. Thanks everyone who stuck around the series, even after that month plus I took off. Hope you had a chance to check out my all non-Earthbound videos. But if not, I understand. I will just cry about it when I'm completely alone. Don't even worry about it. Check out the many, many video on the left if you haven't seen it yet. And let's look at a refresh of the boss series on the right. And see you next week.